Welcome to the Hyperfast Show. I'm here with my friend Corey, and Corey, you are one of the most infamous recruiters in the country. So over 1,200 agents that you've recruited, is that right? That's correct, yes. That's insane to me. And one of the biggest challenges in our business right now is recruiting, actually. So I'd love to just pick your brain. I'm sure there's people out there who are looking to expand their teams that might benefit from some of the knowledge you've picked up over the years. Sure. Well, thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I would say that the biggest thing for us and the success we've had with recruiting and myself personally is really making it about the agent. I can't tell you how many people have come in that we've recruited and they say, oh, I talked to this brokerage or I talked to that brokerage and all they do is talk about themselves and their brand and how great they are. Uh, I really feel that it's not about the brokerage at all. It's really about the agent, that clients choose agents. If you pulled 100 of their clients, 99 of them are going to remember the brokerage behind them. So, sure, I agree. You know, I think it's important to ask those questions and say, hey, what's going on with you? Why are you even thinking about possibly making a move? And how can we support you in your business? So I think that that's kind of a fundamental difference that we've really tried to work with. And the other thing is I really feel like it's kind of like changing jobs. It's a big move. So if it's not the right time, it's okay to say, hey, no problem. We're not going anywhere. And if anything changes, please let us know. Because eventually something's going to happen that pushes them over the edge and you're just building the relationships. Yes, kind of unfortunately so. But yeah, that's kind of kind of how it goes. And um, Well, and when you think about what is important to the agents, you've talked to a ton of agents. What are the things that stand out as patterns? Sure. Yeah, great question. I, I think that the, the one thing that people think it is, it's about commission, when I think that that's probably third or fourth, you know, down the line. I would say that mm -hmm. support, 150%, you know, what kind of support do you have? How quickly do you get back? Because there's all sorts of different agents that have all sorts of different challenges, but those challenges are real for them and you need to get back to them as quickly as possible. So response time is really important. Huge, yes. I mean, we're also fortunate that we have three attorneys that work for us that are also brokerages. So instead of them having to call car, you know, they can just call the brokerages and the, the attorneys can answer those legal questions for them. The other thing is, which I kind of touched on, is uh, personal brand. You know, again, I just believe that, truly believe, that the, the whole real estate industry has changed or is changing, and it doesn't matter what broker you work for, and the broker should really be behind the scenes and help them as much or as little as they want so that they can build their brand the right way. That makes complete sense. I think it's kind of funny um, when I left Remax as an example, they tried to tell me like if the gorilla is not behind you, like your business will suffer, right? Yeah. And I didn't lose any business. And then when I left Keller Williams, they said the same thing. Sure. Yeah. And yet, I don't think I lost one transaction in either of those moves. So. I believe you're right, but I think a lot of brokerages out there are trying to convince the agents of something that they know is not true, so it makes them seem disingenuous and the whole experience is thrown off. Yeah, and, and I, I think that you're absolutely right. I think that a lot of the brokerages out there, it's almost kind of, you know, square peg, round hole. This is what we believe. This is what we're doing. If you buy into what we're doing, then you're going to do great. But if you don't, then you're not, and you're not fitting or drinking the juice for better lack of terms and you know for us we have all sorts of different agents with all sorts of different goals that try 15 to 20 different marketing techniques and whatever works best for them that's great so you help them embrace what their sweet spot is that's interesting yeah absolutely yeah I think also to go back to the commission everyone assumes it's about commission but the reason that I entertained leaving Remax is because my accountant sat me down and he said Carrie you're paying way too much money. I have a lot of real estate clients and I've never seen someone pay this much money to the brokerage. It just doesn't make sense. I think you should evaluate your options. So I did and I actually left and I ended up paying more at Keller Williams okay. because of the support and services. Sure, absolutely. Right? Yeah. So that's, I think, important for everyone out there that just focuses on the money when you're recruiting. It's a lot more than that. Absolutely. 150% agree. I think that if you come for the money, you'll leave for the money. And it's all of those different, you know, things that you offer. I also say culture, you know, go somewhere that you really enjoy the place. You know, we're completely different in the way that we approach things. Um, and, <laughs> you know, we like to enjoy ourselves and kind of work hard and play hard. And, 
yeah. you know, I think that you need to be happy at where you go and you have to fit that culture. I think that's extremely important as well. Very important. So if you're an agent watching right now and you were to give some advice about how they create a culture that's magnetic to the right people, what would your advice be? I would say just be honest with who you are and what you want to portray and, and, and be genuine with that because I don't think there's a wrong way to do it. It just depends on what you want to be and embrace that and understand that not everyone's a good fit and that's okay and go from there. Yeah, that makes a ton of sense. Well, thank you so much for being here Thank you. Today. I appreciate it. I'm not trying to shake your hand. I'm uh, a hugger. Yeah. <laughs> thank no, you. I appreciate you. I think 1,200 agents. I mean, that is just, it's incredible. And I hope someday I'll come to you and say, I have recruited 1,200 agents now. <laughs> well, thank you again. I appreciate it. Thanks for being here. All right, take care. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you liked it. Give it a quick like below and comment and share. We'd love your feedback. For more videos like this, click here. And to subscribe, click here.